today I'm going to show you how to make my version of the torta cebuana. Let's get started. Here are the ingredients. One cup water, three-fourths cup sugar, two-thirds cup condensed milk, ten egg yolks, one half cup oil, one half cup melted butter, one tablespoon vanilla, one fourth cup milk or water, two and a half cups of sifted all-purpose flour, one four teaspoon salt, five teaspoons baking powder, one to two teaspoons of anise seeds. We will start making the torta by making the syrup. So you start with water and then sugar. You don't have to stir this. All you have to do is boil this for about five minutes or until uh, when you measure it, it's going to be one cup. All right. This has been boiling for about three, uh, two and a half minutes. So usually I boil it between five to eight minutes. I will show you later once it's ready. All right, let's check. We should have one cup. We're a little short by one tablespoon, but that's all right. You can just add water, one tablespoon water, okay? Then we will cool down the mixture. After the mixture has cooled down, by the way, boil it for five minutes. I boil this for seven minutes, okay? This is a very easy mix torta recipe. The only part which needed time was to make the syrup, which we already did. So this is our syrup. It has cooled down already, okay? So the next thing to do is just put everything together except the baking powder, okay? So I usually put the liquid first. So let's start with egg yolks, 10 egg yolks, then here is the syrup that we have cooled down, and then we have the condensed milk. This torta recipe freezes very well. So if you make this and you have extra, you can put it in the freezer as long as you wrap it well. And then to reheat, just put it in the microwave for a few seconds. And it will be like, you know, you just made it. This is oil. Then I have butter. Of course you can use margarine, but I prefer the flavor of butter, of course. Then we have milk or you can use water. This is full cream milk. You can use evaporated milk too. And then we have vanilla. So these are all the liquid ingredients. Then we add in the dry ingredients. I have here anise seeds, salt, and all-purpose flour. Okay, so everything's in except the baking powder which we add last. All right, so let's mix this. You mix it first at low speed for one minute. And then I increase the speed to medium and I beat it for about two to three minutes more or until the mixture is fine. All right. After a total of about three to four minutes, you add in the baking powder. Then you mix it for 30 seconds. Or until you don't see the baking powder anymore, okay? All right, this is done. Okay, let's uh, scoop them out. I think I'm not very sure if this is a size four or four and a half. Okay, I will check later. Anyway, I'll put it in the uh, description box. Once in a while, uh, please check the description box because sometimes I put there a little history about the recipe that we're making. Also, sometimes I put some notes there. Or if there are corrections, I also put it there. If there's some information I forgot to tell you, I also put it there, okay? So please take your time to read the uh, description box, okay? So before you scoop, make sure you scrape the sides and the bottom to make sure that everything is well mixed, okay? This is about, I'm not very sure, but this should be about one fourth cup. We are able to make 27 pieces. The mold is four and a half. 
let's put this inside a 340 degree oven Fahrenheit for about uh, 25 to 30 minutes we will check after 20 minutes I have many recipes to share with you if you're interested please like share subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded okay here is our torta you can make it a little darker if you like but this color is just right for me all right we'll cool this down and then we will brush the top with melted butter or margarine and put sugar all right you wait for the torta to cool before you brush it with butter and dip it in sugar because if it's warm what happens is the sugar will melt okay so here you brush let's brush all of this first make sure you brush all the sides because if there are portions you don't uh, brush with butter the sugar will not stick okay so you hold this and then dip it in sugar okay again here and dip it 